going to make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. Y'all going to make me go all up. Up in here, up in here. Y'all going to make me act a fool. Up in here, up in here. Y'all going to make me lose my cool. Up in here, up in here. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to more Resident Evil 2 Remake. Where we last left off, we did some shit, and now today, we're going to do some shit. All right, cool. Uh, what the hell am I doing? Oh, yeah, we're about to hop in the sewers. So, without further ado, run over here. Uh, isn't there supposed to be, like, Burret somewhere? Yeah, I think it's further down. Gotta get those magical bullets. Make me feel really good inside. Because I get to shoot things. Wait, do I not have a full clip? Oh, I do. Okay. I thought I didn't. So. Again? Literally after last part, I was thinking of straight up recording again. But Chance. I got tired. You're stuck with me to the end. And I went to sleep. And now it's the next day. And hopefully today I can finish this fucking game. Sure well, at least right Leon A. I think we're playing Leon A, right? It's Leon A, and then Claire A, and then they unlock Leon B and Claire B. Wait there. Or maybe is it Leon A, Claire B, and then Leon B, Claire A? Whatever. Oh man, it's a crocodile. It's an alligator. It's a fur alligator. The ugly ass po water starter. Alright, I do not know which way I have to go. Which way? This way? Okay. Holy shit! Holy shit! He's gonna get me! Ah! Oh, fuck! He's gonna get me! Chew on this, bitch. Wow, what a delayed reaction, Leon. But it's a nice Chew little. On that, you overgrown son of a bitch. I didn't know that Leon says chew on that. I literally said that to be corny and cheesy, but somehow Leon made it sound actually pretty cool. It's so cool. Oh my god. I like if you don't have bullets, the they fucking was. put some down here Just for you. Here. They put some down here for you somewhere, but I guess I guess since I had bullets, they didn't spawn. No, I thought they spawned regardless. Or maybe that's what the grenade is for. It's like, use the grenade! Blow them up! Get them! So, Can't say I, didn't warn you. I remember... You said the virus turned people Never mind, I'm, into I'm monsters, gonna, I'm not a... reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. I'm just I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say after they're done having this foible. This this content over here. Look at that grenade on my belt. On my hip. Oh wait, no. Before this cutscene plays, I'm not sure if I showed it off yet. I have Claire set up as the ninety eight outfit. Wow. I'm not sure if I showed it off yet on this playthrough, but yeah, we're gonna switch to that. And I have not beat the game at all because I do not have their alternative outfits. <laughs> God damn it. I want them. Because Leon looks cool. But Claire's alternate outfit, I still like it. I like it more. I like it more than her uh, new outfit. And no, it's not because of the booty shorts. Scary as that alligator was. And that is far more dangerous. This makes all the cutscenes so funny with this damn thing. And it's not because he's just low poly. It's even the context of the shit. It's like, Leon, this isn't a game. And he's like this fucking polygonal motherfucking... <laughs> Nothing but polygons. Nothing but a... Nothing but a porygon. All right, nice little save point. Definitely Williams' handiwork. Identify yourself. Annette Birkin. 
She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G-Virus. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! <sighs> Stop! Expect that from a scientist. Uh, Leon. Now the glasses Get have on. come off because the plot Just demands it. Stop her before she gets away. It looks way better without those dumbass sunglasses, man. I swear. And then it all comes off. The plot demands it, so you must be wearing a red dress at all times. You're not Ada Wong if you're not wearing red in some sort of capacity. Must be in the nest. Once it's in hand, I'll call for extraction. You can run from right. that. But you can't hide. The lip sync is so weird. Um, <laughs> so, man, I wish I had the recording where you guys saw my first reaction. Is because Ada looks fucking amazing in this game. This is the best she's ever looked, ever, ever. Period. Like straight up. I mean, the the dress doesn't have to be super tight on her, but it is for some reason. And then, of course, you got the choker because chokers are cool, man. They're always cool. Those glasses don't need don't need them. You don't need them at all. Yeah, but <laughs> look at this polygonal motherfucker. Look at him. Look at him. All right, but uh, what was I saying? Uh, a couple of things, because now that the cutscene said, uh, cutscene said, wow. Now that that cutscene played out, I want to point some things out to fucking um. But first, I remember. Really? I thought there was like a little thing that happens here. Okay, never mind. I remember that, uh. I remember that, um. When they were announcing the remake and stuff, a lot of people kept going, like, man, I hope they put the alligator in there in the sewers. And I. I swear to God, that alligator in the sewers in the original is so not important that. I 100% forgot what the fuck people were talking about. Because I was like, what are they talking about? The only thing I remember in the sewers is these big ass fucking tarantulas that I hope they don't put in this goddamn game. Because, I'm gonna be honest, I fucking hate spiders, man. I think I've said it before in like some other playthroughs and shit, but I fucking can't stand spiders. I just can't. I see them bitches, they're dying. I don't care where they're at. I don't care how, I don't care if they, if they're there to control the population of bugs or whatever. Every bug I see is gonna die beneath my fucking heel. Right? But, um, see, like, these motherfuckers, crunch, 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 it's all over. Look how fucking big you guys are. Wow. These guys are from the original game, too. But, in this game, they don't attack you. I think in the, in the other game, they would. In, uh, original Resident Evil 2. But, um... Yeah. So people kept saying that, and I'm like, what are they talking about this fucking alligator? I don't remember shit. I don't remember these giant-ass tarantulas that, for some reason, every game in the known planet loves putting spiders as enemies. It's like, listen, graphics are now at a point where if you put a giant spider in your fucking game, you gotta be crazy. Come on, just die. There you go. Alright. Graphics are at this point where if you're putting giant spiders in your fucking game, you gotta be crazy, man. You obviously don't want people to play your shit. Like, that's... It's like, hey man, isn't this a great game? Like, for example, Skyrim. I tried to do it. I tried to play it, guys. I tried to play it. But when I'm walking down the autumn road and I see a fucking winter spider or whatever, frostbite spider, a frostbite spider and I'm looking outside and it's sunny as fuck where oh bro really you didn't even give me a chance 
Whatever, man. You can stay there. That's your own fault. So, here on this part, I believe in the original, they gave Ada a fucking, like, a Uzi or some shit, right? But, in this, she just has some special agent fuck shit. Broom HC, 9 shot capacity millimeter double action semi-auto pistol. This place, uh, this place, wow. This piece is one of the specific limited runs of 5,000 pistols. Man, that's crazy, right? Yeah, so... I was just praying to God that they don't put tarantulas in this game, and I know a lot of people were disappointed that they didn't. But you know what? To those people, I say, are you stupid? You obviously don't want them making money off this game. Because, I mean, a lot of people out there who don't want to deal with fucking spiders. I'll play some scary shit. Don't get me wrong. I love horror, and I'll play some scary shit. But spiders, them motherfuckers is creepy. I'm trying to think. Do I just avoid this motherfucker, or... Because I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. I know you're supposed to follow this, but this shit's unreliable as fuck. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think I'll just run past him. So I'll run past him, but I'm going to go this way, which is probably the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. And I wake that motherfucker up. Excuse me. They're all going to pile up. I am totally going to get grabbed in this section. I expect it 100%. Um, you're a bitch. You're a real bitch. You're gonna be a problem. So I'm gonna make you... Oh, I missed. Come on. Come on. Come on. So now you're walking over here while these, while these other motherfuckers are walking over there. Thank you. Another thing is, in that fucking cutscene or whatever, with Annette, I find it super funny, fucking hilarious, that she decides to turn around. She's like, yo, get the g-virus it's like the most fucking saturday morning cartoon shit you'll never get the g-virus never i'm like really guys can you come on man oh you're gonna grab me you're gonna grab me all right never mind i made it what's up oh you're in the way there's no getting around you i'm about to get sandwiched between y'all Take the flashbang, bitch. What's up? Is it not gonna blow up? Okay. Uh. <gasps> no, I was supposed to go that way. Hold up. Damn it. I just did something stupid. Well, now you guys are stunned. So I'm just. Look at those low polys. Low polys? What do I mean, polys? Look at the frame rate. Non flitching bitch. You don't sit your dumb ass down. I missed. It's all over. Ha ha! I'm not gonna waste on you. You're just gonna. You're gonna have to. Yeah, you're gonna have to just crawl. I know you're still alive. Oh, wait, no, your head blew up. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I'm supposed to come over here. And do some dumb science shit. Here we go. Awesome. Now you're in my way. I need... Oh, the other one just got up. I saw him move. Yeah, he's moving. Yeah, there he is. Oh, I can run past you. Totally. What's up? Get swerved on, bitch. So anyways, yeah, I just find that cutscene really funny because she just turns around. She's like, you'll never get the G-Virus. Never. Who the fuck is mowing the lawn on a Wednesday? Who and why? Please, I want to know. It is Wednesday. Like, 10, 10, 40 in the morning? Who the hell is mowing the lawn? And why are you doing it in the backyard? Where there is, like, nothing back there. Like, for me, you got no... Is it these... Hold up. Is it every Wednesday these motherfuckers come? I swear to God. 
Because I know we pay for landscaping and shit. Let me check this. Okay. Now that that's edited out of the way. Uh, apparently, the landscaping guys decided to come early this week. Usually they come on Friday. Today is Wednesday. What the hell, guys? Interrupting my recordings. Okay. Bastard, aren't you? Oh, here he comes. He's speed walking too. What's up? Come on, open. Open, you bitch. Oh, what? No! 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 I thought I dodged that. Come on, that's bullshit. What's up? Come on, follow me. Good old Mr. X. Open this fucking door. How did I not... Bait him! Bait him! Oh, never mind. More like... Yep. More like he baited my, my, uh, his fist to my face. Wow. Wow. See, usually, that wouldn't happen. My concentration was thrown off due to the landscaping. Yeah, but I could have sworn I activated that fucking, uh, that switch. Maybe I deactivated it by accident? Who who knows? Alright. But I won't fuck it up this time. Got you now. Always been good at running. I want to know where he spawns at. Does he just, like... Spawn in this corner without you even seeing him. Or... Like, how does he spawn? Where does he spawn in it? Oh, okay. Bastard, aren't you? That's interesting. He takes the elevator. Oh, so you do it and it's already. Come on. What's up? Oh, he's coming. Go, go, go. What's up? You know, he can just bust through that if he wanted to, but I guess for some reason he doesn't. All right. There's really no reason for me to pick up those bullets. You don't really use them for anything. And you can't carry them over the Leon. So, you run up here. You read this note, and it's like, hey man, you heard these cool new watches? They come in multiple colors. So then you gotta go down there to open the door over there with the little green light on it. Because you need to have uh, a, a fucking, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? ID wristband required for entry. Authentication? Is that the word I'm looking for? Is that how you pronounce that word? Certified ID. You got this wristband. What's up? Bravo. Gonna burn me alive now. You'll never get your filthy hands on the G. You'll never get your hands on the G virus. Never. You realize that. Then you won't die alone. That's a pretty good scene, I'm not gonna lie. So this is totally not how fire works, but whatever. Uh, there. Do that. Totally not how fire works, you would be dead by now. You never get your hands on the G-Virus. I never! And for some reason it blows that up instead of lifting it up. I don't I don't get it. I guess like Oh, you override them? Well, even if you do override them, like that means 
that the door itself is built off a stupid ass mechanism instead of it just being controlled up and down you know like the door goes up and then it goes down for this to just blow off the fucking hinges like that is pretty stupid poor design like what if you have a blackout if you have a blackout then what this is just gonna fall over like what it's an incinerator for crying out loud. Visitor clearance confirmed. Your ID is authorized until October 1st. Please return before this. Damn. That sucks because it's like October 16th now. Because <laughs> the Overwatch Halloween event came out yesterday. Where the fuck am I going? I guess I'm going through that doorway. I could have sworn you go through there. Well, that's a hidden door that leads to here, I guess. Bow. Enough with this cat and mouse game. This isn't a game, Leon. He's still. He's still like low poly and shit. Tell me, is your husband still alive? Or did you kill him so you could take credit for G? Interesting theory. You, don't you have worry. all the nest. time okay, in the I world do. to do something. Even now. That's what you get. You wanted to talk shit. Yeah, that's that's in there. Where's Leon when I need him? Oh, now you need me. The one moment Ada truly gets fucking scared. She's like, "Oh shit, are you kidding me? Where's Leon when I need him?" Look at him. There he is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was asleep with my eyes open. Oh, what happened to me? Is this my body? Where did all my... Where did all my polygons go? So I would play the rest of the game like this version of Leon, but I feel like it might take away for some people who might be seeing this for the first time. And if you are seeing this for the first time, then then seriously, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, but normal outfits is pretty cool, but I just really like the noir outfit for Leon. He's so, he's such a beautiful man. Ada, what? Fuck! I keep doing that. Nor, yeah, no, I don't want the filter on. Who are you? I get that the filter's there. For some reason, this elevator works now. Why? I don't get it. And just like that, we are now in the sewer level, which I only completed this level once, and I do not remember <laughs> most of it. There's one part that I do remember which gave me a which gave me a big old jump scare and I and I had the most dopest reaction to that shit in the world. But that footage is now lost. Well technically it's not lost, it's just on a corrupted fucking uh terabyte. Maybe I can get that cleaned. If I can get that clean, I will I will I will put it in like I don't know, I'll make a video called Resident Evil 2 Remake The Lost Footage. But that won't be for like a while. Here's some burrits. That's beautiful. We do not have a map for this place, do we? That's a pleasant smell. I do not like these sewers, man. 
I'm just happy that there ain't no fucking tarantulas in here. Let me put this on the map. Just do this. Yeah. We need a valve for that. Alright, let's see if I can navigate through these sewers like a fucking, like a pro. Uh, we go this way first, I believe. Is there anything? I really like that that Capcom could have took the 100% cheap route and just... Oh, nope, nope. Don't want to do that. I don't have a knife on me? Why don't I have a knife? What happened to my knife? <gasps> I never pulled it out the thing. Oh, do you have a knife? Can I borrow it? No, it's a cassette tape. So this, I believe, is Hunk's squad. It is not Hunk. This is his team. I'm trying to remember. Does Hunk make it out of Raccoon City? I believe he dies. But none of these guys are mutated, and they never will be. So that's awesome, because imagine a zombie with a fucking helmet on. That would that'd be ass. That would be fucked up. But you come over here, and you're not supposed to be walking around, are you? Oh. I missed twice. Fucking hell. Now, I know I can hold the button down to get three good little pellets in them, like, like this. Like what I'm about to do right now. Like that. Alright, you're done. Come on, die, man. Yeah, you're done now. Ragdoll. And there's a dude up here who is 100% there for a jump scare. So I'm just gonna get rid of him. You're not alive? You're so full of shit. That's locked. You're so full of shit. I want to shoot you again to make sure, but I'm not going to do it. But you're so full of shit. I know you're alive. You playing, you playing possum really good, man. So over here, it's... Oh, you're alive. For a fucking fact. I'm too close to you. You know that? Shit. Like, we're going to be running back and forth through here a lot, so I just want to clear this area out. If I had my knife, I would just... Oh! You spooky bitch! Why don't you sit your dumbass down? Just like that. Just like that? Just like that. And I know you're still alive, so I'm just... Bow. Bow. Now you're dead. Cool. So here's the rook? No, this is the, uh... What is this, the queen? I don't play chess. I don't know what these parts are. I think this is the queen. No, this isn't the queen. This is the king. My final answer. This is the king. Because the king is a bitch piece and the queen is the best, right? Because there's... There's rook. There's pawn. Rook, knight. This is the rook. This is the rook. See, when I... See, growing up, all I did was look at it, and I'm like, hey, that's the castle piece. It makes sense, because you got a pawn. You got a... You got a pawn. You have a fucking... Uh, a knight, a queen, a king. And then you got a castle. What the fuck does Rook even mean? So that's locked too. And through this doorway, I believe you can see your beautiful prize that awaits you. No, you can't see it. Maybe it's on the other side of the table. It's there to be a secret. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. So, what the fuck? Oh, okay, so we head down here. I got 17 in the chamber. Let's go. Oh, here's my knife, my beautiful knife, my knife that I love so much. 
Uh, is there anything? Nope. So here's the point of no return. Bow. And thus, one of my least favorite visual things ever. Just a bunch of gooey, icky, pulsating shit. I do not like this visual. And then you hear noises. So over here, you f they give you a blue herb because you get introduced to enemies that can poison you. But I believe only if you get like really close to them. Is there something moving over there? And you hear all this breathing and shit. And you see that. Now, I am terrified of these enemies. Mainly because they're so fucking gross to look at. But in all actuality, these guys aren't that scary. They're just little goobly goop guys, right? They're like, look at me, I'm a goobly, right? But it's just the idea of how slimy and gross these bitches are. So that one moves to scare you, but he's over there, right there. I believe these are called... <sighs> what are they called? They're called like... <sighs> They're like G-Virus something. What are they? Basically, these are uh, people, I believe people, people who are, um, who, uh, fuck, who are getting not the full dose of the G-Virus, and since it's not like a full dose, fucking, it turns you into this horrible mutant shit, right? But, like, if you got a full dose, you just become the tyrant. I'm just really trying to, trying to strategize here. Because I have a grenade on me, which I can use, but I want to save it. Um, oh, hey, what's up? What you got? Thank you. I'm going to ignore that guy for now, because there might be more shit around here. That I can pick up. No? I guess it's past him. Alright. Basically, I believe this one is your introduction introduction well wow. introduction to them and he's like he's already damaged so i believe fortune shells as a critical hit can put them down or maybe five and i believe maybe three of these if you get those critical shots in i'm not wasting any time you want to nope he's not injured what the hell? now he is so he shoots these things at you Did I get him? I think I got him. Oh, you little bastards. Do not shoot at these guys. Just dodge them. I believe they can poison you. Huh. Am I poisoned? No, I'm fine. Yeah, so those guys are just... They can damage you, but they're just more likely to get in your way. This is interesting, because last time when I went through here, I know for a fact when I killed this guy, these guys didn't react. So I guess now zombies react to the sound of your magnum going off. That's crazy. That's crazy. I can totally shoot you guys to the bars right now. I missed. Well, since you can't grab me through the bars, and you're going to become a problem later, let's just deal with you now. You're still alive for some reason. You're not. You're still alive, man. How many of these are you going to eat? Get your dumb ass up. Yeah, you're so full of shit. You know what? You're a big boy. If I miss this, I'm going to be so angry. Stop moving. Stop moving. I'm so... I thought he clipped through the fucking bars. Stop moving. I'm so afraid to miss this shot. Oh my god, you bitch. I swear to god. 
Thank you. Now you're dead. And you guys won't be problems in the future. Yeah, they don't react. And by the way, these guys, they don't fake dead. Once they're dead, they're dead. Which is great. But I hate running past them because they still pulsate and shit. I hate running past these motherfuckers, I swear. But I believe this is the only level that you see them in, at least for Leon's campaign. And over here is the cart that will take us to the underground facility. Interesting. Uh, actually, let me run down. There might be something down here. Do I have any shotgun ammo on me? Nope. Listen to that good old original soundtrack. It's beautiful. The new one's pretty good too, I'm not gonna lie, but the original is still good. The original is so fucking good. The new one is more for like ambiance, so. Are there zombies in here? Or am I thinking of a different room? I'm thinking, I'm thinking of a different room. This one, I think I remember this because. It's supposed to be like. Like, each of these are 100% like a reference to a Capcom IP. So this is, I believe, SZF. Because these are switched around and it's supposed to be like Street Fighter Zero or something like that. Awesome. Got some big boy rounds. It's beautiful. This is our next stop. Hey, just what I was looking for. Awesome. Did I pick up everything in this room? Yes, I did. Let's move on. Imagine if Leon just picked up that like bottle of bleach of and started drinking it. And he's all like, I'm tired of this shit. I would never go through the shit that Leon's going through right now. I would just end myself. I'd give up real fucking quick. I'm a chef, chef too.